This tutorial is all about making a MIDI controllable DAC. In this case, we're going to be using a TNC2 along with an MCP4922 chip to control external hardware like the Moog Mother 32. So let's make a MIDI DAC. We'll need a breadboard as well as some basic breadboard wires. And we'll also need the MCP4922 as well as the TNC2. Then it's a matter of taking the breadboard, putting the TNC on there, and then adding ground and 5 volt busing. Then add the MCP4922 chip and connect that to ground as well. Add some 5 volt connections and then connect up the SPI bus in terms of clock, data and chip select. And then finally, we can connect the output of the DAC as well as ground to some alligator leads so that we can connect it up to some external equipment later on. So let's have a look at the programming side of things when it comes to the TNC. The code is quite straightforward in the sense that there's some SPI functions, there's some USB MIDI functions, and not much can go wrong. So it should simply be a matter of uploading the code and then going from there. Make sure that the TNC board is selected to TNC 2.0, the USB type is set to MIDI, and the clock speed is set to 16 megahertz and then upload the code. In order to connect the external DAC to a piece of equipment like the Moog Mother 32, it's simply a matter of taking one of these mono 3.5mm connectors, taking apart the barrel and the insulation, and then connecting the output of the DAC to the tip, and then ground from the TNC to the sleeve. In this case, I'd like to use MIDI data to control the filter cutoff. So I'm going to plug my DAC into the filter and then I'm going to use a MIDI clip in live to just send some MIDI data to the Mother32 via the DAC. And let's have a listen. Yeah. 